What's up guys? Uh, back with another collection update. So this update's going to be a bit different <clears throat> than how my updates usually are. Usually my updates are loaded with vinyl. Um, only four records in this video. Instead, this update is mainly going to be CDs. And um, it's mainly because of a couple of box sets that I've gotten recently. And uh, we're going to take a look at those. And in case any of you... Um, are int have been interested in buying them or wanted to see what they looked like more in depth well here's your chance so <clears throat> we'll go ahead and start off with the box sets because those are going to take a while to get through so the first one is the uh nargaroth uh fuck off not nowadays black metal and orc cd box set so obviously this uh, has both demos in it uh, the Orc demo came out in 98, I think, and uh, the Fuck Off Nowadays Black Metal one came out in 2000. It came out after the first album was released, and before Black Metal is Creed, so, uh, yeah. But the Orc demo, I think is, uh, if memory serves me correctly, it's basically all instrumental uh, tracks. And then the Fuck Off Nowadays Black Metal is just kind of like... Uh, demo songs um, it's got demo songs from the first album and the second one and then a couple extra couple extra ones so it's pretty interesting so apparently uh, so this is the one that Hammer of Damnation put out but apparently White Wolf Productions I think was the other label they also put out a box set exactly like this but it's, it's slightly different so the box set comes with this poster, which is kind of cool. And then we'll get to the CDs, and the mail service completely destroyed this one right here. Also, they didn't do the greatest job of packaging it, so that didn't really help. So you got Can Wolf there. Very nice. one page booklet yeah there's the one for orc and then we have the one for fuck off nowadays black metal that so overall it's a pretty uh, good box set I just wish they would have did a better job packaging it and the next one I'm going to show you guys is got way worse damage than this one did. Single page booklet, just like the other one. See, so yeah, I think um, I think the one that White Wolf Productions put out. I think it was White Wolf Productions. I could be wrong. I think the one that they put out, the album cover, album covers were slightly different. I don't remember. Um, well, like I said, I haven't seen that one, so I don't know for sure how different it is, but I know it is slightly different. But, uh, yeah, so that's all it came with. So it's pretty nice. <coughs> all right. So the next box set is the uh, Evil box set that uh, Hammer of Damnation put out recently. As you can see, it just the cover just got so fucked up during shipping I mean it's, it's just ridiculous and, and I already had to wait like five months for this to get here because Hammer of Domination was not shipping or their distro is called Black Metal Store they were not shipping to the states for the longest time so it already took forever to get it and then, and then to get it in the mail damaged was very frustrating so uh this, now this is a, a seven CD box set. So you got this postcard here. Or whatever you want to call it. And it comes with a booklet, which I haven't had a chance to flip through this booklet yet, but it's got some pretty cool stuff in there. Pictures, looks like it's got some liner notes. So there's that. 
And then it comes with a double-sided poster. If I can get it to unfold. So there's the one side, a uh, double-sided poster that has both band members. One on the front, one on the back. So there's that. Alright, so now we'll get into the CDs. So as I said, seven CD box sets. There's a lot of material here. And the thing, I was really excited when they announced this box set. And I was not sure if any other distro was going to get copies or not. Um, and I don't remember what the limitation was either. Um, but I just, I didn't want to wait. I wanted to secure my copy because... Um, I've always I've wanted been wanting to get more stuff by evil and this box set was like the best way to get more stuff uh, So I just I really wanted it So as you can see this case already has a has a crack in it right there. This isn't the worst one I don't think yeah, there's other ones that are worse So anyways, this is the first one. This is a southern war from the winter's March so this has um, the demo of the same name from 96 um, the blood and honor uh, material split with uh, Loco Motiva. Probably pronouncing that wrong. That's from 97. And then it has their demo from 97, which, uh, which it was Evil Storming Onwards to the Battlefields. And then it's got a couple of bonus songs on here, so pretty cool. Got that. Booklet. So there's that one. I'm going to go through these pretty quick just because there's a lot to show. Uh, this is the next one. This is Evil All Evil. So this has uh, their demo from 95 and a, and a rehearsal from 93 on it. Yeah, the stuff on here is, especially the stuff on this CD, is it's very, very fucking just noisy. That. There's that one. Next up we have uh, Iron and Thunder. So this is a compilation from 2004. Uh, I forget what the comp was. Okay, here it is. These songs were taken from the split with Moonblood and from the uh, LP Revenge of Iron and Thunder, which was probably a demo because Evil's first album was the Fuck Peace one. At least I think it was. But yeah, as you can see, the CD got really fucked up shipped right there yeah. I'm just glad that all the CDs came intact and that nothing was broken single page booklet hey because as soon as I got the package in the mail and I saw the, I saw what the package looked like I saw um, how they did it I'm like holy fuck it's a it's a miracle that none of the CDs were damaged There's that one. <clears throat> this one, yeah, this one's next. Next up, this is the Hate Spirit and Depression and Mourning. So Depression and Mourning is a demo from 2005 and Hate Spirit, a demo from 2001. Uh, Depression and Mourning is definitely, I think, some of Evil's best material. It's very good. There's that. And you just got the logo there behind the disc. I don't know if this box set is sold out either. Um, I'd actually kind of be surprised if it wasn't. But yeah, got that. Very nice. So there's that. And next up we have um, Arctoga. I don't know how to pronounce it. And this is an EP from 2006. This one's really good. Um, as I was listening to the CDs in order, you can definitely 
uh, the production obviously gets better. So this is, when I pop this one in, this is definitely where the production started getting better. Obviously this box set does not have everything Evil has put out, but it does have a good chunk of it. But... that one and next up we have Hammerstorm uh, this is the full length from 2009 uh, so e evil does not have that many full lengths um, they just but they do have like a shit ton of splits and like demos and stuff but full lengths were definitely not one of their favorites so to speak uh, I think this is probably like the second or third full length I don't know off the top of my head their discography is massive so it's you know, very difficult to remember. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this album's great. Um, I really like this one. Single page booklet. There's that. And then the last CD we have Raw Coldness. So this is a compilation from 2008. It basically just has rehearsal rehearsal tracks on here. Um, I think some of these were on Hammerstorm, I think. One or two of these, maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, there's also an absurd cover on here. They do Werewolf, so that's cool. Never go wrong covering Absurd. Absurd is base, basically the go-to band for NSBM bands to cover songs. <laughs> and they just got some notes in there about the comp about the uh, compilation. So that's cool. Uh, for a rehearsal, though, the quality is actually pretty good. I will say that when I first popped this in. I wasn't. I was expecting it to. I was expecting it to just be noise, but it's actually a pretty good production for a rehearsal compilation. So, yeah, very nice. All right, and that's it for the box set. So yeah, guys, uh, like I said, it's a very nice box set. It just sucks that the postal service destroyed it. You know, like I said, you'll have to uh, check out. <clears throat> you'll have to go check out. Um, their distro and see if they have any more copies but uh, yeah I haven't seen this in any other distro yet um, so I was kind of glad that I bought it I just said fuck it and pulled the trigger alright so I got a few more CDs to go through here before we get to the uh, records uh, this is Somber Chemin with Doctrine so I've got this one on tape as well but uh, I got the CD for fucking dirt cheap on eBay, so I didn't care. And I love Somber Chemin, and I love French black metal, so yeah, that's my excuse. And this is also my favorite album by them. First full length, just absolutely killer stuff. Such an underrated French band. I know the fucking artwork is, it's very hard to see, because it's so dark. The logo's like up here. It's just really hard to see. Um, this is the latest CD pressing. I don't know from what year. I think there was a few other CD pressings, and there's the tape pressing, which I have that. But this one's never been put on vinyl. Probably won't ever be put on vinyl since this project is no longer active, but it would be nice to see a vinyl uh, release of this. But like I said, it probably won't happen. So yeah, Somber Chemin, Doctrine, check that out if you haven't. Excellent French black metal. Alright, so next up uh, we have a couple of high-end CDs. High-end priced CDs. I picked these up at my local record store a week or two back. I don't remember. Um, first one we have Abigor with Verwestung, Invoke the Dark Age. So... 
early Abigor, you just you can't touch it. It's it's so good, um, especially the first two albums. Uh, the next few ones after that are good as well. I think once Selenius left the band, that's when Abigor really started to go downhill. I mean, I don't know how involved he was with the writing and uh, as far as the albums that he played on, but that's just kind of what I observed as I was listening to Abigor's discography. Um, once Selenius left the band, it's that definitely, I don't know, it just... Abigor nowadays is not so good in my opinion. They're just trying way too hard, and if they would go back to stuff like this, it would just be it would be great. But anyways, so this is the first CD pressing on Napalm Records. Um, like I said, I picked it up at my local record store. I do have uh, the U.S. pressing, the first U.S. pressing as well, but I couldn't pass this up. I mean, it was. Just like I said, first two album Abigor albums are just incredible. It's really hard to top them. So the main difference between the U first U.S. and first European pressing, which that's what this is, is that this one's black and white. The U.S. one is in color, which I probably should have grabbed that one. That way I could show you guys the differences between them. But yeah, uh, this one, but this one though, like I said. Uh, this one is going to go into my collection. So, yeah. Check that out if you haven't. Abigor, Verwa Stung, Invoke the Dark Age. And next up, so this one, <clears throat> I've already got a copy of this, but I went ahead and bought it anyways just because this is one of my favorite Norwegian black metal albums. Um, <clears throat> so I have no problems owning two copies of it. We have Ragnarok with A Rising Realm. <clears throat> so Ragnarok it's very difficult to find their early stuff because it's never been repressed fortunately uh, Darkness Shall Rise Productions just uh, did tape releases of the first two Ragnarok albums this one and uh, Natford so in case you guys missed that and you're interested you can go check that out still waiting on mine to come in the mail Yeah, this is the first press on Head Not Found. Lyrics. Shit and whatnot. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I have not 100% decided if I'm going to keep this or not. I may decide to sell it. Um, but it's a very expensive CD. So unfor unfortunately I can't, you know, I can't be like, it's 10 bucks. here you go. It's going to be much more than that. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, guys. Ragnarok, A Rising Realm, fucking top-notch Norwegian black metal, definitely some of the most underrated Norwegian black metal is early Ragnarok, for sure. Alright, so that is it for the CDs. Um, let's go to the vinyl. And the first one is a French band that I pretty much feature in every single video. But that's just because Asrar keeps pumping out the reissues, and I keep getting them. So we have Drakenhale with Le Sentier. Another one of uh, the demos from what year. I can't remember off the top of my head. A lot of this stuff came out in the mid-2000s. Uh, this one's very good. Um, like I said, a lot of this uh, Drakenhale material that I'm buying... I haven't heard because it's not available to listen anywhere. Can't find it on YouTube. Can't find it to download anywhere. Um, this one, I think, is on YouTube, though. And I have to say, this is definitely uh, one of the better ones that I've heard. So it comes with a insert here that I can't read because I don't speak French. And then it's just a double LP on black vinyl. So yeah, like I said, this is the latest uh, Drake and Hale reissue that Astrar has done. Not sure what they're gonna do next. It would nice to see, it would be nice to see uh, a reissue of fuck, I don't remember what the next one would be. Um, 
had it in my head earlier and I just forgot. But I'm interested to see which one they'll do next. And I mean, and the quality of these reissues are just uh, very nice. And I did get this directly from Asrar, but I know Arcane Altar actually did get copies of this at one point, but I know they're sold out now. I was kind of mad when I saw that because I was under the impression that no other distro was ever going to get copies of these reissues, so I was kind of mad about that, but whatever. But uh, anyways, like I said, I've I've talked about Dragon Hell many times on my channel. Great French brand, French brand, French band. Um, and again, go check out a couple of other of Dunkel's projects. Uh, that being Selfro and Setcra. I think that's how you pronounce that one. Those are great as well. So yep, Dragon Hell with Le Centier. Next up, this one's definitely been on the bucket list to get for a while now, and I finally pulled the trigger and got a copy. We have In the Woods with Heart of the Ages, debut album from this incredibly, at least in my opinion, incredibly underrated Norwegian band. Um, <clears throat> so In the Woods in their early days were definitely very much Norwegian black metal. Um, you still had... Uh, some clean vocals, um, but it was still very much Norwegian black metal. Kind of like early Ulver, you know, in, in a sense. Uh, but within the woods, for me, it's different because I like their newer material as well. So in the woods, in my opinion, are one of the bands that have changed their sound over the years, but they're still a good band. Another one being Catatonia, at least for me. Like I said, this is just for me. I don't know if it's how it is for other people, but that's how it is for me. So uh, this is the Back on Black reissue. Um, I don't remember the year that this one came out. So the only other releases of this on vinyl are obviously the first press, which surprisingly does not go for that much more than this. And then... Um, you could also get this on vinyl through that box set that came out a few years back. I can't remember the name of it. I think it was called... Shit. I don't remember the name of it. But that box set had like the first three In the Woods albums on it. But uh, I really wanted just a standalone copy. And I know some people are... They just they don't like Back on Black. I don't have a problem with Back on Black releases. I think they sound fine. This one in particular, it sounds fine. Um, I think people just like to jump on the bandwagon, to be honest. But anyways, here's the gatefold, in case I didn't show it, because I can't remember. And it comes on this very nice kind of purple transparent vinyl. And it is a double LP. <clears throat> I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But yeah, I mean, I'm just very happy to have this to add this to the collection because it's just it's been for me it's just been kind of a hole that I really needed to fill. So glad to have finally gotten this in the woods, heart of the ages. Pretty sure most of you have probably heard it. All right, next up we have a French band. We have Sacrificia Mortorum with Maturum Est. I think this is their second album. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's their second album. So this is put out on Dark Hidden Productions. So I picked this up from, uh, from Asrar as well. Um, I wanted to buy something else to kind of justify the ridiculous shipping costs, so they had this there, and I decided to buy it. I do have this on CD as well, but this is, without a doubt, Sacrificia's best work. Um, for me, this is one of those bands where their best material is in the middle. Um, is like the middle of their discography. Another band that I feel that way about is Horna, especially the Corvus era. 
But anyways, uh, back to this band. But I mean, the riffs are just incredible. I mean, obviously, they're not reinventing the wheel by any means, but when it comes to black metal, you can't really expect that. You just have to expect... <coughs> Fuck, my throat's getting dry from all the talking. You just, you have to expect riffs. So it just comes on black vinyl. Nothing special. Um, this is pretty cheap on Discogs. <clears throat> so if you wanted a copy, you could definitely get one. But yeah. Sacrificia Mortorum, Maturum Est. <clears throat> Go check it out if you haven't. So I got one more record to show, and then we can uh, end this thing. God, my fucking eyes were watering because of how, like, <clears throat> itchy it was. Ugh, fuck. <coughs> All right. Now someone's going to say I have COVID because I'm coughing so much. All right. So anyways, last but certainly not least, we have Seth with their debut album. So this is the only vinyl pressing of this album. Put out through Season of Mist in 2012, I think. Limited to 500 copies. Uh, numbered, I got 426. So yeah, this is definitely, and I've mentioned it, I know I mentioned it uh, when I showed the live album. It's just one of those things, or... I can't fucking talk. <laughs> One of those uh, albums that I've been after for a while on vinyl. Um, but unfortunately, this is the only vinyl pressing of it. And I was really trying to wait for a decently priced copy to pop up in the States. Because, <clears throat> like I mentioned before, I'm really not trying to order overseas unless I have to. And one finally popped up. I think I shot the guy an offer and he accepted. So, that was cool. But anyways, um, it's a very, it's a pretty good quality <clears throat> release, except for uh, the only thing I don't like about the reissue is the fucking front cover. Honestly, this would have made a better, better front cover than this. So it is a double LP, just black vinyl, pretty basic labels. <clears throat> they kind of look like the album cover. I'll go ahead and show the gatefold again. They kind of look like that. Yeah, these labels. So yeah, and this also has a couple of bonus tracks on it as well, which I had not heard prior to spinning this. Um, unfortunately, they don't have the track list listed anywhere on in the jacket or outside the jacket, which I will never understand why that happens, but it does. Uh, so basically, the only way you can see the track titles is if you look at the labels on the vinyl. But anyways, there's two bonus tracks on here. Um, the first one is I really enjoyed. The second one kind of sounds more like what they were doing on the album that came after this. Um, which, Seth, I love the early material. Um, the second album after this, I can't remember the name of it. It's like Le Excellence or something like that. That one's good. And then the ones that follow, I'm not crazy about, but early Seth is just some of my favorite black metal, uh, French black metal specifically. So if you haven't heard this and like the, that uh, by fire power shall be, check it out. You will not be disappointed. I mean, I cannot stress that enough. So yeah, check it out. Seth, uh, Les Bleasures de, I, I don't know. I don't want to try to pronounce it. It's too much work. And, uh, all right, that's it, guys. So right about 30 minutes, so that's pretty good. I thought this video was going to be much longer than that. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one. Um, probably will not be another video for a while. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to get this one up as, as, soon, as, as soon as I did. Um, unfortunately, this, this month... For the rest of September is going to be very busy for me. Um, <clears throat> more traveling for work. 
and then uh, I'm moving again, moving in uh, with my girlfriend. So, yeah. But anyways, that's all I got, guys. Uh, take care, and I will see you in the next video.